Hello, and welcome to Broads and Books. I'm Amy. And I'm Erin, and this is a very special bonus episode, Cooking with the Stars. I don't think we would have, on our own, come up with this no, idea. No, It really required the participation of someone that we've had before yes. on this show. Mm-hmm, it did. Our resident celebrity expert, Heath. Hello. <laughs> You may remember, longtime listeners, that we used his talents in the celebrity memoir episode to help us fully explore that genre, which ended up talking a lot about Mariah Carey. As it should. As it should. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, We also talked about housewives knowledge and so much more. And we knew we had to bring him back. And I believe it was you, Heath, that thought of talking about celebrity cookbooks, because this is a thing now. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody's doing it. So we might as well (laughs) get it in a podcast. So Heath... Will you tell us what's been happening since we saw you last? Um, you may have heard of something called the Moderna vaccine. <laughs> I developed that. You and did? gave Dolly Parton credit for paying for it. That's so, amazing. That's so, you. you know, I helped end the pandemic, as one does. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. I think, you You're know, welcome. we all owe you a big thank you. We do. And I somehow managed to squeeze in some time reading uh, celebrity cookbooks. Oh, did then, you? Oh, also. good, 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 yeah. good. Okay. Mm-hmm. So is this something that you're a big fan of now, celebrity cookbooks, would you say? I find it uh, I find it kind of a fascinating genre because it seems like most uh, occupations, if you're good at like occupation A, you don't write a book about occupation B. This is a <laughs> like good, that doesn't yes. qualify you to do That's this other point. thing. That's a so. good point. Mm-hmm. I wonder what actual chefs think of this trend mm-hmm. of celebrities yeah. turning to cookbooks and if they're annoyed. It's, yeah, they have to be, right? Right. Because it's mostly garbage. I wonder so, if actual chefs are the people that we see on the second line of the oh. author byline. Because each of our cookbooks, I think, has a mm-hmm. primary name plus. No? Mine does oh. not. Okay. Um, There's got to be a And when we writer. talk about that, yeah. we'll explain why that's not yeah, surprising. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Great, 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 great. I feel like that started, that book started with the second person, and that person was like, I got to go. <laughs> I got to go. And this is Don't how put we got my this. name on this no. trash. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Aaron, I got a question for you. Yeah. What do you think is your cooking ability? And and <laughs> let me let me give you a scale because okay. we're all gonna answer this. Okay. All right? Yep, yep, yep. So uh, a one would be Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards level. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, number two would be MTV movie awards level. So we're moving up. Mm-hmm. Three would be Golden Globes level. Mm-hmm. Four Oscars, baby. I it's a one. It's yeah. a solid one. Uh-huh. I and here's why. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> I've you never get developed slime it. poured on you during cooking. Oh my God, <laughs> I do feel like I have stuff on me when I'm done and I don't know why. Uh-huh. And I primarily cook for children. I mean, let's be honest. <sighs> yeah, that's mm-hmm. true. Palettes have not developed any further than that. No. And I'm okay in that zone because it requires really not much of me. Yeah. I will tell you that this week, Mason did tell me that I don't boil hot dogs correctly, which is news <laughs> to me, because I don't know how else you boil them, but... Huh. So, I He mean, said they're not as good as school, so that's oh, my no. <laughs> Do you let him live there still? <laughs> right? He also calls something that's not soup, dirty, dirty old soup. soup. Yeah. When I make it. He said, oh, we're having dirty old soup, and it's not soup. It's Mm-mm. like pasta. <laughs> Your seven-year-old has very strong opinions about what you yeah. cook and mm-hmm. what you don't cook. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about you? Where do you rate your cooking ability? <sighs> Man, I, I'm going to say MTV Movie Awards oh, okay. only only right. because mm-hmm. I don't cook for children. So I try and attempt adult-level dishes, and they're not great. But, you know, I try. You I did guess. tell me this week you put mango in a stir-fry. That's innovation. I was so proud of myself. <laughs> It's not really that exciting, but it was so exciting to me. And each time I got a mouthful of my stir fry with mango, I was like, God damn it, am I good? <laughs> that was solid. It was solid. It was a solid choice. Keith, how would you rank yourself? Well, I would first say when I'm at a party with my husband and I want to leave, that's our code word is mango in the stir fry. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's when he knows I want to leave. And we just go straight for the door. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh-huh. So, good to know. Mm-hmm. Um. I would say probably MTV Movie Awards level yeah. because I'm best at cooking prepackaged foods. Oh, mm. yeah. And like the MTV Movie Awards, like they all know who's winning before they show up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> and yeah. I, I know what I'm getting when I open that box. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. That's a great way of describing it. Yeah. Uh-huh. uh-huh. 
So are you getting like, well, I know the answer to this because I was cat sitting at your house, but you get like food kits. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we do. And, and even the one we get, um, I feel like it's too much work. <laughs> It looked okay, so that's what I yeah. got it once too, and I was like, "This is not no." Yeah. We're, you're paying twenty or thirty bucks for something. Like I cut things up and stir things oh. and saute and blanch and whatnot. Yeah, they got a uh, when I was cast sitting, they got a box and I unloaded it because I knew there was going to be cold stuff, and I was like, "This is overwhelming! All mm-hmm. of the packages and the things and the no. yeah, no, no, I was out." Mm-mm. Yeah, that seems terrible. What do you guys think makes a good celebrity? cookbook and is there such a thing i uh, yeah i'm squarely in the camp that there's not a yeah. good one. i just i Do you think it's just the examples that we're bringing today that are mm. making us think that yeah maybe but i think it's it goes back to what he said when you're good at occupation a just jumping over to b yeah i'm when i buy a cookbook i mean that's an investment they're not cheap mm-hmm. and the stuff you're getting in there i expect something like new or you know creative and i don't i don't know that a celebrity brings that very much mm-hmm Maybe a celebrity like Chrissy Teigen had one where she fully accepted and said, like, this is going to include Velveeta and like cheese whiz just mm-hmm. out of the gate. So maybe if you own it, like That's these, true. Are, these are easy and they involve melted cheese. But then again, why are you doing it? Yeah. Well, I uh, know. And with Chrissy Teigen, though, I mean, like uh, she has a post on Instagram in like three weeks for some reason, which we need to get to the bottom of. But <laughs> mostly it's her posting cooking. So it seems like it's something that she's actually passionate oh, about. Oh, yeah. So okay. She does it regularly. But then it's other stuff when it's just like. It's just like like Jonathan Bennett from Mean Girls. It's like here's yeah. the burn cookbook, and it's like what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Chrissy Teigen gone? She got know. canceled a little bit. Really? Yeah. What happened? Some stuff came out about her bullying someone in high school oh. or something. Oh. And then that didn't we all bully somebody? Yeah, I was it bullied was, and got and bullied. She made the mistake of like writing it. Oh. Yeah, it's like written somewhere. Oh like shit. Some, yeah. Some pretty aggressive, like, suicide suggestions. Oh, Holy no. shit! Yeah, that yeah. Takes it, was, it up a notch. Yeah, yeah. So, and people really freaked out because she's so strongly voiced about not bullying on her. Like, she's called out people that bully her, oh, troll her Twitter, and then. Okay. So, of course, when somebody falls, you know, they're... Mm-hmm. And she kind of tried to explain it, like, yeah, I was a different person. I'm not happy with that person. Like, everybody can learn, but everyone was like, no. Yeah, it's over. Okay. So, okay. She just took a hiatus, I think. Well, she's cooking Velveeta without yeah. photos then, huh? Maybe okay. that should be a new book genre of like, let's judge each other by the way we were in high school. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Right? Oh my no God. one should be judged that way. But at the same time, that's like rough. Just waiting for someone to bring you stuff you said or did in high school, like in proof of it. Like you're just, that has to feel like you're. This is why like us as a generation, like we're getting away with a lot of stuff because we didn't have social media. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. Can you imagine? No. 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 Okay. <laughs> Collectively, so to recap, well, what, it's a no for a us. Yeah, no. It's a no. Well, what makes a bad one then? A bad celebrity cookbook. I mean, we have some good examples today. Yeah. But. Maybe it's the, like, like pretending that you are a chef or mm. something. You know, mm. like, I, I feel like there's a sense from mine anyway where she's like, you know, I'm trying this new thing and it's great. And also I'm telling you how to raise your kids kind of thing. Mm, So, okay. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe it's if you're not humble in that way and you're not admitting like, yeah, you know, I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it's, I mean, for me, it's things like when it's like not recipes, Uh like Sandra Lee, who I don't know if is it, I think she was, I'm not sure if she was a celebrity first or not, which, by the way, everybody, if you haven't looked up uh, Sandra Lee's Kwanzaa Cake uh, clip on YouTube, please do that. It's an absolute nightmare. Sandra Lee's Kwanzaa Cake. <laughs> yes. This yeah. sounds like something that should not exist. No, it should not. Oh, okay. And also, it. it looks wildly unappetizing. <laughs> <laughs> but um, my in-laws got me her one of her cookbooks for Christmas once. I think it's a joke. I hope it's a joke. I don't know. I hope so. But one of her recipes was, it, she called it garden macaroni and cheese, which is just craft macaroni and cheese with broccoli in it. And that's not a recipe. <laughs> like, you're like, don't you tell me that's a recipe, Sandra Lee. It's not a recipe. Garden. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even like a common vegetable you grow in your garden. No. 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 That's, that's. Yeah, that's bad. Maybe. Okay. So maybe it's just lack of awareness. Yeah. 
I don't think, did we talk about, like, why do we think celebrities are getting into cookbooks? Like, why, why is this happening? Because there are a lot, right? I think it's a way to say relevant, right? Yeah. I think it makes it seem like you're not making people really read something. Because yeah. you have to really hit a different audience, I think, or have something to say if you're going to publish a book. But right. if mm-hmm. it's a cookbook, you can kind of put your own opinion in it. But there's pictures. Yeah. I suppose for a publisher, it's kind of a safer bet than having like a an unknown person write a cookbook. Mm-hmm. I mean, at least, you yeah, know. that's true. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, you know, if David Schwimmer is going on the Today Show <laughs> to promote his cookbook, you might get a few people to watch that episode yeah. and like go out and buy it as opposed to, you know, someone you've never heard of. Yes. So. Built-in fan base, maybe, that's yeah, going to buy it good, automatically. Yeah, that's a good point. Mm-hmm. Is there someone that you would buy their cookbook no matter what? Even if you heard it was terrible, but you're like, no, I'm diehard. I'm going to buy their cookbook. I mean, anyone from SNL. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. For sure. Because mm-hmm. I imagine at least there's a few jokes in there that'd be entertaining. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. And yeah. if A.D. Bryant did a cookbook, yes, I want to see what A.D. Bryant is cooking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. What about you guys? Mm-hmm. I think if Amy Poehler did a cookbook, I would buy that. Mm-hmm. I think she would. Uh, yeah, that'd be that'd be worth my time. Mm-hmm. Okay, so thinking about celebrities writing cookbooks, but let's think about like just celebrities in general. Mm-hmm. Let's say you're on a cooking show, mm-hmm. Aaron. I'm looking right at you, yeah, because I know you really want to be on a cooking show <laughs> desperately. Yeah, so in my wheelhouse. Yes, uh-huh. I don't know if this is your cooking show, if it's an existing cooking show. It's up to you. Mm-hmm. Who, which celebrity do you want there with you? It, this is purely selfish. I have no idea if this person even likes to cook. It's just I'm kind of obsessed with him right now, so I uh-huh. want to be on the show with him. Okay. And that's Keegan Michael Key. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have no idea. That's I just think he's idea. great at physical comedy, so I just want to laugh the whole time. Yeah. And if we cook something, that's a bonus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Again, that's like the comedian thing. At least you're having a good time. Yes. And you're not getting sanctimonious crap about your lifestyle. Yeah. And I think he could do a good parody of a cookbook. Like it would be funny, some of the stuff he came up with. Whereas other people took it too serious, I yeah. think. <laughs> that, what the listeners didn't just see is Aaron glancing pointedly at her cookbook, which will come up in a moment. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> if you were going to publish a cookbook, what's one recipe that would be in there for sure? Well, you stole my thunder. It's going to be the stir fry with mango. For oh, sure. Shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I was so proud of my innovation. Damn it. I'm sorry. Now, let, let me tell you what's in this stir fry. Okay. Yes. First yes. Off, okay? Break it down. Break it down. Know, break this it down. is the staple of a vegan's diet. I want to tell you that. Okay. It's how I get some vegetables in there. And now it's how I get some fruit in there. Okay. okay. Basically, it's the one meal that provides me nutritional value. So that's what I go for. Okay. There's um, a, a rice base. Okay. okay. A rice base. There's some tempeh. <laughs> okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Um, sauteed with... Uh, a green vegetable of some kind. Okay. Often what, broccoli. Wait, what's tempeh? Okay, good question. Like the city in Arizona? Yes, yes. I put the whole city of Arizona <laughs> into my pan. <laughs> One point, it is spelled like tempeh, but with an H at the end. Oh, exotic. And tempeh <laughs> is a grain and protein mix. Okay. Beyond that, I don't know quite how to describe it. Is it a form of tofu? It. No. No? It is okay. a... There's like three main sources of protein that you often swap in when you're a vegan. Tofu, tempeh, and seitan. Oh, like, seitan. like the Lord of Darkness? As in Satan. <laughs> <laughs> huh. huh. That explains yes. a lot about the vegan lifestyle. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Getting very interesting. Yes. Seitan is S-E-I-T-A-N. Well, you rated your ability too low because if you're cooking with Satan, then uh-huh. you're killing yeah. it. That would be a perfect celebrity mm-hmm. mix. Mm-hmm. Cooking with Satan. He would be like, oh, whatever you want, put in there. Put another <laughs> cup of sugar in. Who yeah, cares? Yeah. You only live once, right? Put all the oil in there. <laughs> Satan okay. simulates a lot of meat. It's a wheat protein. Okay. Yeah. It looks like meat. <laughs> I don't eat it as much anymore. Tempeh is more like nutty. It looks like a almost a, a nut loaf or something like oh, that. Oh gosh. Yep. That's not a go. that's not a term I thought I'd hear today. <laughs> nut loaf. <laughs> Oh, yes, nut loaf. Yes, nut now loaf. I know. Okay, that does sound good. A nut loaf. Okay, so we've got, what we've got mm. is nut loaf, yep. broccoli, <laughs> yep. rice. Yeah. Some peppers. Peppers. Put some okay. peppers in there. Mm-hmm. And, you know, 
some uh, some olive oil. Sometimes I put like a, a, a curry sauce in there, Ooh. and then this week I put in some mango. Okay. Felt like a fucking chef. Oh, wow. So mm-hmm. that's hey, I'm tempeh sounds like it's not easy. To, a nut loaf doesn't sound like it's easy to cook with. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's actually really easy. I don't. What do you do with a nut loaf? You just saute it. Just the whole like, chop it up. Oh, you no, chop, chop it up, it up okay. into little pieces. Does it? Come, how does it come? Like in a tube shape? Or? It comes in like a. <laughs> I'm making the vegan lifestyle sound very uh-huh. appetizing. Yeah, uh-huh. no, we're it's a package that's about this long and it's kind of flat. Okay. And, and you just that's... cut off as much as you... Does it keep yep. for a long time? It does, actually. Okay. I imagine since it's mm-hmm. primarily nuts. It's <laughs> also delicious to put in a sandwich. Saute a little bit, put it in a sandwich. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. I was trying to imagine how you're using... Okay, that yeah. makes sense. So, Cooking with Satan, coming to a channel <laughs> near you with my stir fry with mango. With mango. I loved everything about that. <laughs> Heath, outside of today's special assignment, mm-hmm. have you ever purchased a celebrity cookbook? I mean, I purchased for a hot gift once the Downton Abbey cookbook. Oh, oh I didn't know okay. That was such okay. A thing. Yeah, which I thought was just going to be lots of like, I don't know. I guess I thought it would just like be lots of pudding? like. Maggie Smith being like kind of a low key bitch. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> but they were the actual recipes that I guess they serve on that oh. show, which I'm just like, I mean, I know they're always sitting around the table, but I didn't really know that they ate things. Yeah. And also, English cuisine isn't known for its, right. you know, photogenicness. Right, right. Or taste. Yeah. No. Interesting. So, um, yeah, I never ate anything out of it. I didn't hmm. make anything out of it. Okay. But I, I did purchase it. But, okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was about as interested in that as I was the show. Mm-hmm. What about Michael, though? Because Michael cooks a lot. Does yeah. he get celebrity cookbooks? Well, that's who I bought it for, and apparently he was not interested. Yeah. In <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair uh-huh. enough. <laughs> no, I mean, I for a while, like for every year at Christmas, like, you know, it was sort of a... I'd always get him a cookbook because he mm-hmm. does like to cook. But usually it was like we we like uh, I like Ina Garten uh-huh. um, just because, again, you know, my admiration for low key bitches. <laughs> Ina Garten. With a mm-hmm. disapproving yeah. look. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I've gotten him a couple of hers um, and uh, Nigella Lawson. Mm-hmm. So these are I guess they, these are mostly people, ne- not necessarily celebrity. But they're cookbooks. chefs who became celebrities, right? right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Chefs okay. who became celebrities. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Aaron, what about, because I know Mike likes to cook, but mm-hmm. does he ever follow cookbooks? Like, does he go like that route? What does he do? No, he I, he does more like internet research, it okay. seems like. And he'll get like a whole bunch of ideas on one recipe and then kind of pick and choose and put them together. It's a, it's a process I want nothing to do with yeah. really, but yeah. He, you know, he doesn't, I think he was gifted a cookbook one time mm-hmm. and no, it didn't. It was like a burger cookbook, I want to say. Hmm. So it was that just sort of fits with his personality. Like a multiple ways cookbook. to make burger. Mainly, it's just changing out toppings because there's really right. only like... so much you can do to have it still be a burger. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. So. I, I think this is a good point to also promote cookbooks and books in general because when you look up a inter- uh, recipe on the internet, you have to scroll through so much page after page after page of ads and you know this talking about. How this changed my yes. family's life and yes, some bullshit and pictures like of that. the ingredients <laughs> right. and yeah, yeah and who then cares? you get clear to the bottom before you get to the recipe. A book doesn't do that to you. That's, that's true. true. A that's book true. does not betray your trust like that. That's true. And I don't have to have a bunch of ads pop up for their affiliates. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. do you want to buy your measuring spoons here? No, nope. no, don't want to do it. No, no. I, think- I just want the recipe for garden mac and cheese. <laughs> Tell me how much broccoli to put in my craft macaroni and cheese. Too much is not enough. And that recipe is so short, you might just scroll right by it and you won't even know. <laughs> like, it never even gave it to me. Do you think, do you guys enjoy cooking? Mm. <laughs> Does cooking enjoy us? <laughs> No. Yeah. It's it's too on demand for me. Like, there's just too many people that need fed. That well, and that's the thing. You're having to feed an entire family, which just doesn't sound fun. It's not. Because nobody is ever going to like everything at the same time. No. So somebody's always like, meh. And you're like, I want to punch you. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, really, I come here. Yeah. Like, anytime you want to cook, you can. <laughs> Do you enjoy it, Heath? 
Oh, sometimes like on a on a weekend, like on a Sunday. Mm. But if I'm gonna take the time to cook, like I want to make like enough chili for like three or four days. Yeah. Like, you know, this isn't gonna be a one meal thing. Like mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. So that's. I mean, I'll, I I don't mind devoting a couple hours, like on a lazy Sunday afternoon, to do something like that. But I'm yeah. not interested in spending like weeknight time doing it. No. So if I had children, they would be very hungry by Friday. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good thing the cats, you know, you mm-hmm. can just give them pre, pre-made food. Yeah. Don't have to worry about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, what do you guys think? Should we dive into I our... I so, yeah. So how did we set this up? Each of us... Well, we put a whole bunch of celebrities' names down that had right. cookbooks. Right. And let's uh, mention a few that we didn't pick. One was Coolio. Coolio yeah, yeah, Coolio. Was it Snoop Dogg or did I make that up? Snoop Dogg has one, yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Maya Angelou. Okay. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, we did shit. have Chrissy Teigen down. Yeah, we that's true. Yep. Yeah. Alicia Silverstone, oh, where yeah, we are, yeah. every recipe ends with her chewing it up and spitting it into her kid's right. mouth. Right, yeah. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. We were all really hoping to not get that uh-huh. one. Yeah. In their family bed. Uh-huh. Yeah. In their family bed. Uh-huh. Ooh, Leah Michelle. Speaking of bullies. Oh, Leah Michelle that's had right. One. Yes. But that was more like a lifestyle thing, and it was okay. just sort of like, hey, in case you forgot, I'm an asshole. Yeah. I think that was the title. Did it? <laughs> Speaking of Sarah Michelle Geller, didn't Freddie Prince have one too? Mm-hmm. Yes. Because he was on our list. Freddie Prince yep. Jr., yes. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think the, so we had a long list. We did. We had mm-hmm. a lot we to come from. We created a pulling from the hat situation. Mm-hmm. I pulled from the hat, and mm-hmm. I'll go first because alphabet. Yeah. Well, it should also be noted, none of us got anything we wanted. <laughs> that is, no. That is a no. good thing. No. Yes. It's also worth reinforcing, none of us really like cooking. So, right. yes. you know, this yeah. this was bound to be a disappointment in a lot of ways. Mm-hmm. But my... Yeah, go ahead, Erin. Well, and we should also mention that our discussion today is in no way an endorsement of these books. So <laughs> I think that's going to be very clear. <laughs> I just want to be clear. It's a little <laughs> different than a normal episode where we would encourage you to go support no, these authors. No, this is straight up shade. Yeah, yeah this yep. is not. So what we're going to do with each of our picks is we're going to tell you a little bit about the book, who wrote it, um, explain... A specific recipe that we pulled from that book. Mm-hmm. Um, talk about that a little bit, and then we're gonna make each other try these atrocities of dishes mm-hmm. and see what comes up mm-hmm. from there. And then we're gonna have a verdict from the panel, from all of us, on if it's a yay or nay. I'm predicting a lot of nays. Hard nay, so hard nay. <laughs> <laughs> so my book comes from Sarah Michelle Geller. <gasps> Who, I will say, I am a huge Buffy the Vampire Slayer sure. fan. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I am anymore after this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's quite the book. Yikes. <laughs> Which is reason number one to not write a celebrity cookbook. Exactly. Because you, really... you come off Could be looking dicey. like a sanctimonious asshole. Oh. So, okay. So this is called Stirring Up Fun with Food. Yeah. In her introduction... She talks about her purpose. First off, she mentions her husband and says her husband's a professionally trained chef. Oh, really? Apparently. And so she saw him making a cookbook and she's like, "Eh, I don't know. But then she started enjoying cooking, apparently, and decided to make a cookbook, which I think is um, translation for someone offered me money to do it. And or anything you can do, I can do better. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of that. Um, she wanted... Do we need to check on Freddie Prince Jr.? Is he okay? (laughs) There's pictures of him in here. So he was alive at the time of this, at least. All right, fair enough. (laughs) (laughs) she talks about in her introduction that she wanted her kids not just to love food and make healthy choices but experience the special bonding in the kitchen she also wants to push away the idea that kids won't eat vegetables by quote making them creative and fun i was able to remove the stigma that vegetables weren't delicious were you just able to do that just centuries of problems (laughs) just gone just gone i like this already (laughs) she also emphasizes she's not cooking she's crafting oh god no jesus christ she said that (laughs) she calls it food crafting there's a whole page dedicated to it food crafting is elevating food prep to a level that's fun and creative by the way she's also trying to sell her company food stirs which is organic baking mixes so there's a little bit of stuff in here food stir I don't know. That's a terrible name, yeah. right? Yeah. And also, she I think she's trying to sell the idea that only by very carefully controlling the ingredients can you be healthy, which sounds very like a rich person's philosophy. Mm-hmm. 
sounds like something no one can really. Yeah. And even I chose what I thought was going to be a very easy recipe and it was a pain in the ass. And so I imagine all of this idea of like bringing kids in and making it fun. Mm -hmm. Not true. No, I don't think so. Um, The book is divided into months, January, February, March, different recipes for each month. Mm. Yeah. That's already Tons of pictures of the food, but also of her. There's a picture of her next to her smoothie, putting her high heels on. (laughs) <laughs> and picture of her with her kids smiling over cracked eggs in a bowl. <laughs> She's like, I dare you to put your shoes on eating one of Ida Garten's grilled cheese sandwiches. I dare you. <laughs> dare you. Yeah. I dare you. Also, there is a theme that I picked up on. She makes a lot of things into cupcakes, including quiches, mac and cheese, meatloaf, what? Shrimp lo mein and shrimp corn dogs. Lo- shrimp lo mein in a cupcake? <laughs> I do not want all that stuff packed so no. tight it takes a cupcake form. Listen, and if you ever big... get invited to a party at Sarah Michelle Keller's house, <laughs> don't go. Not go. Don't eat the cupcake because it's shrimp lo mein. Yeah. And then a corn dog one. And that one Mount made me part barf. A corn dog one? Corn dog one. That's she also... not what you made us, right? We don't have to eat a corn oh, God, dog. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> kind of funny revenge for oh, you. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> also, kind of what I think you said, she includes the things that aren't really cooking. Like, there's egg in a hole. There's lime water. <laughs> oh, shit. Lime water? <laughs> there's fruit on a stick. What? There's no! There's vegetables in dip. And there's tomatoes in mason jars. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess what lime water is. Is it just cut up limes in water? Yeah. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> You, you incl- that was a page. You dedicated a whole page yeah, to that. Yeah. Also, wow. she tries to sell cauliflower popcorn, and that's when I, that I was full on out. Just have popcorn. Just have popcorn. Don't but, try to pass off cauliflower as popcorn. So there's no popcorn. There's just cauliflower, just cauliflower. and she just call it cauliflower popcorn. Yes. Well, that's a lie. I know. <laughs> yes. Also, what I imagine when you're talking yeah. is like her nanny being like. Reading this, I mean, like, I never served those kids at California Popcorn. No. No. They ate Doritos. And yes. we watched Avengers. And mm-hmm. they wouldn't eat your fucking vegetables yeah. that you thought were fun and creative. No. Yeah. So she did have a section on Star Wars themed snacks. So I That's, figured. Does okay, George Lucas know that? Probably not. <laughs> so I chose the lightsaber snack mix. Oh, oh. Oh, God. Okay. 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 Uh, the lightsaber snack mix. Yep. Uh-huh. That looks difficult. Oh. What is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't yeah. look like lightsabers either. Nope. She it looks doesn't. like crayons from here. Okay. So it told me that I had to put, um, uh, I had to melt white chocolate. And I said, hell no, that's the devil's chocolate. So I put r- real vegan dark chocolate. Okay. Okay. I okay. melted that. It's pretzels with melted chocolate and sprinkles on it, which apparently are the lightsabers. Then there's little crackers, wasabi peas, and raisins. And as I put it together... I'm not excited about it. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> I just remembered I have I, another I'm commitment. Be smart because what I have coming up is not great. So, so here's uh, the lightsaber snack mix. Now, I will say I about lost my shit because I didn't read fully that it said that I had to dip every single one of these pretzels <gasps> into chocolate individually you had to do it and individually. roll it around in sprinkles. And I quickly was like, oh, I was going to make a lot more than this. A, I'm so glad I didn't because it took less time. And B, because it looks like shit. Yeah. So I'm right. All right. So we're going to (laughs) try this. (laughs) Take as much as you would like or not like. Just scoop me up some. Okay, great. This is also, lightsaber is also the thing I accidentally called swords, right? It is. Laser swords. Laser swords. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's sure you don't want more than that, Hugh? That's probably enough sure? for me. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Should we try it? Hmm. It's not the worst thing I've ever had. No. Seems like a lot of work. Yeah. yeah. Lot, what's the pay? Yeah. The work seems not worth the payoff. Couldn't you just you drizzle don't... that over the top? You could melt the chocolate and drizzle. And then I had to let it set for three or four hours. Come on. So what do you think? Yay or nay? I think it tastes fine. Yeah. But uh, I feel like you can just buy this in a store. Yeah. I think the trail mix from stores are much better than this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the whole, I think I was supposed to get singular color sprinkles to make it look like a lightsaber. 
but these were the only sprinkles that we had. That's the other thing. I don't get the connection to Star Wars Mm-mm. to this in any way, shape, Mm-mm. or form. Even if you had done that, I still don't. I wouldn't pick this up and be like, what a clever lightsaber. Yeah. Thank I'm you. impressed with your cooking commitment. Sarah Michelle Geller. I give a two. <laughs> Out of what? 20. Ten. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. I'm just kidding. Out of ten. I'll I give guess. her a three. One for each name. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I like that. Mm-hmm. I'll leave it out in case you guys want some okay. more. Okay. In case you yeah. get the need to snack some more. Yeah. Okay. You know. <laughs> well, my, I had a similar experience. I, okay. I pulled uh, Kate Gosselin from the mix. Which, which is a is very loose uh, definition celebrity. of celebrity. Yeah. Also, that's high praise for Kate Gosselin <laughs> to yeah. be compared favorably to Sarah Michelle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To be fair. Yeah. I shouldn't even because we're like, that's like D-list celebrity. Yeah. If you're unfamiliar, she had the show Kate plus eight. Mm-hmm. John and Kate plus eight, then they famously got divorced. And, and are all all of her kids are on the cover of that, right? They are. Okay. I while reading this, my hatred for her just grew. It grew. So <laughs> what's the you, title of it? Uh, Love is in the mix. Barf. Oh, that yeah. bitch. Love is in the mix. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. There's a sub. Making meals and memories with family friendly recipes, tips, and traditions. Because you don't just get recipes in this book. You get things like. You should set up candy shop for Easter and give your kids tickets and they can buy their Easter candy. What? Yes. You get a lot of weird things in here. Yeah. Um, it also made me kind of wonder where she was now because this isn't a current celebrity, really. She's kind of right. dropped out of the... So two of her children no longer speak to her <gasps> and live with her ex. So I thought that was interesting. Um, she's currently moving away from those two children. Like they're mo- She's moving to another state and is very open that she's struggling financially. Oh my god! Yeah. And Wait, this is in the book, or this no, is it? Okay. I just did some oh. research. Oh, okay. I was like, Where is yeah. Kate? Now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, they're all happy in this book. How old are the kids by now? They're teens. There's or something, some. Right? The older twins are like in their twenties or twenty. Oh and my gosh! Kids, yeah, they're eighteen. Can you imagine choosing to live with John Gosselin? Right. Oh, <laughs> that's your better option. Right. <laughs> oh, I guess poor you kids. could stay in the Ed Hardy room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah she also did a dating show called kate plus date Uh, what spoiler alert didn't work out oh no no No. yeah so (laughs) how many of the contestants were in prison (laughs) you know we joke that two of them want to live with john gosson when i read this book i can't believe they all don't want to because it seems she has such great ideas like friday night movie with popcorn if you're what? looking for something to do on Friday night, pop some popcorn and have them watch a movie. I didn't know Kate Gosselin invented movies and popcorn. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I didn't know. And that oh. sums up really what recipes we're dealing with. Like how you said some are not really recipes. Right. These are not, some of them are just not recipes. They just added another word. Like instead of sloppy joe, it's super sloppy joes. No. <laughs> That's no. Not it. Just because they're extra sloppy. And that doesn't make me want to. It sure either. doesn't. <laughs> Uh, so on the face, they appear to be easy recipes. Okay. Also, like I mentioned, they all include some kind of tradition. She wrote an intro for each recipe that is, makes you want to vomit. <laughs> and not in like a, oh, that's so nice and cute and you're trying way. But in like a, you, like literally even when you write and have someone edit, can't not be condescending. Oh God! You're yeah. just if you vomit, you're just making more room for Kate Gosselin cooking. <laughs> exactly. It's for her ye old pork chops because that's a recipe. No. <laughs> yeah. So I will tell you that one of the things that I love about this is that I bought it used. Yes. And I enjoyed someone who wrote notes in it throughout. <gasps> Ooh. Someone wrote their own notes on the recipe: good old pork chops and sauerkraut. And the quote was. Meh, too long. <laughs> the mom's stuffed cabbage rolls just have a big X through them. <laughs> so, needless to say, I like this person a lot. Oh my <laughs> God. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I struggled to find some things to make because there's just a lot of beef and beef broth. Ooh. Yeah, and things like Super Sloppy Joe's. And also alarming is that the word balls appears a lot in the recipe what? titles. Like moon balls, pork balls, like it's just too much. Yeah. She's just putting out the, you know, she, she, tell the universe what you want. Yeah. <laughs> and it will bring it to you. <laughs> bring it back to you. Also, there's pictures 
of oh, her. Oh no! I'm of, seeing hands holding an egg. <laughs> yeah, and of did the she food. did she hatch or lay that thing? <laughs> <laughs> That's maybe why red, white, and blue egg roll-ups. Oh. But any of the pictures or food are actually kind of bad. Like they didn't even stage it well, so it, none of it really looks that great. Uh, so I uh, I made two things because okay. I had a feeling the first one wasn't going to turn out, and I was right. <laughs> So, the first one, and I'm not lying, the title of this recipe is Family Yuck Pie. What? Yep. Like, I, yuck, like Y-U-C-K. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm apologizing ahead of time. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Is that wet? <laughs> yuck pie is that <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to be called milk pie milk pie but her brother misheard it and oh my god they're hilarious he called it yuck pie and now they just call it yuck pie what i don't even know why it's called milk pie is there milk in it no <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's really it's brown sugar butter eggs i think and some flour. And I on a prepared pie crust. What? I don't even know what it's supposed to be. I don't even know what that is. Okay. So I, I It doesn't look like any pie I I know. Yeah, I knew you weren't gonna be able to try it. I'm so butter. sorry that and I'm I vegan know, right I now. I feel bad making Heath try it, so you can if you're a good sport, but I, I wanna see this. Oh, it oh. is a little more solid oh, than God. I anticipated. <laughs> it looks like applesauce. <laughs> Texture. Oh my god, the texture is so bad. <laughs> Did you guys bring up water or anything? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. <laughs> not, that's, not, that's not all that's going to get brought up. <laughs> oh Ooh. my god. I, I do want to. <laughs> I do want to try and describe the looks on your faces right now. Heath looks like he's trying not to cry. Erin's already crying. To be fair, too, she gives no direction on her recipes. She says, put these ingredients in a bowl, pour it into a pie crust. She never covers that the pie crust is prepared <coughs> ahead of time. I assumed. So I bought a store-bought pie crust. Oh, my God. She never says how to, like, how to mix them, like, anything <laughs> like that. I know, like, enough about baking to know the butter's supposed to be room temperature, but if you don't whip it enough, you just have the pieces of butter. Uh-huh. So I, like, broke all those up with a fork, but there's no direction for that. Oh there's no direction God. for how... You can notice here I'm missing some crust. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <laughs> it said cover it with foil. When I took it out... That just came off on the oh, foil. God. Huh. That crust wanted no part of this. Yeah, he's like, do not associate <laughs> Do not do this. I would so, say if I had to describe this in one word, it would yeah. be filmy. <laughs> <laughs> There's a film in my mouth now. <laughs> so I made another recipe. Filmy. <laughs> not like F-I-L-L space M-E. Like <laughs> filmy. F-I-L-M-Y. <laughs> yes. Like a film has coated your tongue. There's a film on the pie. Mm -hmm. And yes, there's a film in my mouth. And I took Uh a tiny bite. So I also made her Collins Thomas hummus. Collins Thomas hummus. Because again, they're hilarious. And when they were young, they didn't know it was called hummus. They thought it was called Thomas, which is one of her kids' middle names. Okay. So they would say, we want Thomas. Do they have, like how many of these people have hearing problems? Like are they undiagnosed? (laughs) Do they need to go to a doctor? I feel like a fair amount. So her recipe is basically hummus. Yeah. Okay. Um, also, again, no direction. Oh. Just these ingredients, put them in a blender, and then eat it. Um, I added the paprika because it looks so sad in there without yeah. anything on it. Yeah. And I was bringing that first. So I felt like I had to come with something a little better. And I knew then that you could also yeah. try this. Yeah. Should we try it? Go ahead. And okay. Then, she suggested making your own pita chips with no real direction. I said... Thank you. Not a chance. Yeah, no. I'll just buy some. Thank you. Yeah. Tastes like hummus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kind of a bland hummus. Yeah. Yeah. Edible, though. Is there milk in it? <laughs> <laughs> no, but 
Here's the thing. <laughs> I just bought the ingredients for the recipe without thinking through whose cookbook this was. Uh. When I went to make it and I was on my third can of chickpeas, I was like, oh, shit. This is one third of the recipe. Oh, my God. So, because I forgot. She's making for eight kids. Mm. So the recipe is like three times what any hummus recipe should ever be. So I abandoned, recalibrated, and only made this yeah. much. Yeah. So, so far I'm picking up a theme that these celebrity chefs are not providing expert guidance in terms of how long things will take. No. Or how to do the things. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No. So no on the yuck pie. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> From me, for sure. Mm -hmm. That's fair. And the hummus is meh. Yeah, it's I'm going to agree with uh, the anonymous uh, writer in Meh. the book. Too long. Meh. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should have tried for the good old ye pork chops, but. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't bring meat into the house. Yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. I just brought this weird yep. damp pie. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even moist. It's damp. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was the only benefit to the pie making was that it was on the counter and my whole entire family kept looking at it like, is that what she's going to feed us today? Like, <laughs> we need to order a pizza immediately. Like, no one's eating that. Start but no one would come out mom. and say, are sure, sure, eating sure. that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That looks like dirty old pie. It does look like a dirty uh -huh. old pie. Yeah. To, after your dirty old soup. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's. Oh, boy. OK, so we've got Sarah Michelle Geller. We've got Kate Goslin. We may have the 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 star of all stars <laughs> oh, with yeah. what Heath Let's is bringing hope to the that table. You can redeem us. Um, I made a couple things from uh, Gwyneth Paltrow's mm. uh, cookbook. It's all good, is what she's calling it. It's so, all good, which is a bold title. It I is would a, say. Bold. <laughs> a bold title. Um, title. But you know, Gwyneth Paltrow is a bold lady. <laughs> That's a word for her, <laughs> yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I would say it's probably on the opposite end of the spectrum from like Kate Goslin, mm -hmm. where she didn't really explain everything. This I feel like was there's so much explaining going on here. Really, oh. the, the the recipes are uh, there are some recipes that several of the item ingredients you have to make with other recipes in the book. So you're looking at something that maybe at first glance like, well, this might take an hour. But then you're like, oh, I have to make these other four recipes first, and then use oh. it in this. So now that now you're turning into like it's a whole a whole thing. So oh my <clears throat> god, yeah, no. Um, and I read her um her inspiration for making this book is that one day she was uh uh she had prepared and served uh lunch to family and friends in her garden. And um, when she was clearing the table, and I was like, first of all, <laughs> you didn't clear the table. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but she said that, like, her, her arm, there was some weakness in her arm or something. So she spent the next two weeks going to a bunch of specialists to find out what was wrong. Oh, God. And, and you know, she'd been working a lot and been on planes a lot, and she's just kind of stressed out. And, and someone told her that, you know, um, she should change her diet. So that's kind of, this cookbook was the answer to that. And just, Gross. When, when you read through the whole thing, all of it is just, she's so completely out of touch. <laughs> and like, I don't know who this is for. It's yeah. not for me, I'll tell you that. But she's just, it's all its all written. She sort of uh, insults people who give their kids cereal for breakfast. She, oh my she, God. She prefers the cereal is cheap. And it's just all like kind of, it's pretty snooty i guess for it's, sure yeah. which yeah. fits with her brand right, right. yeah it's for on sure. brand for sure also i like the idea that you went from a possible medical suggestion to expert like i need to change yes. my diet boom i'm the right. expert on it yeah but even the way she wrote that it's just like if any one of us like you know had a, a medical thing like we wouldn't be going to dozens of, of no. Um, no. specialists over the course of two weeks you know no. we'd have to wait three months to get into one part you know yeah. it's just all of it's written in kind of that way that's a clueless sort of thing right, yeah very clueless doesn't consider the people who are going to be reading it and you know. oh yeah um so yeah i mean there's a lot of like trying not to hate read it uh-huh <laughs> <laughs> like i was actively trying not to hate read it um, you did email us and say that she is sounding like an asshole. Right. Yes. Right. I mean, if this is, like I, I think I said this before, if you're looking for something to change your opinion of Gwyneth Paltrow, this is not it. <laughs> not it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is going to reinforce, whatever you think of her is going to reinforce it. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah, she's got three recipes for beet salads. 
three. What? Three, right. <laughs> Does a normal have you ever encountered a beet salad? Uh, probably, but not like in a way that it, I liked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you had a bad run in with a beet salad. <laughs> You're aware of beet salad. Uh-huh. It's just not seems a like fan. an odd thing to assume. One thing I'm wondering too, like I have the perception that she's probably using a lot of ingredients that are either a expensive mm-hmm. or like yeah. really hard to find or right. things like that. Is that true? Yes. That, yeah. Yes, that is true. Uh, one of the recipes I made is from the uh, uh, children's she has a children's chapter. Oh boy. oh boy. Which after you see the things I made, you'd be like, what children are eating these? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, God bless that adventurous eater as a child. I was not one. Oh no. Um, most people I would say probably aren't. Nope. Uh, and it's fine not to be. If you are good, that's awesome. Yeah. But just, you know, I mean, Kids just want, like, you know, give me some seasoned beef and maybe a little cheese on it. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. fine for me. Mm-hmm. Give me some mac and cheese. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and don't but, boil that hot dog too long. <laughs> right. <laughs> she did for, there was a, a, a glimpse of a one and one item she uh, made. It's called a bummer bar. And it's like a vegan dessert thing. And uh-huh. she almost, it, for a second, I was like, oh, does she get that, like, a, uh, uh, a dessert with no sugar and no eggs and you know no dairy and it like might be a little bit kind of a letdown but she doesn't really get it like she no. she called it a bummer bar and i don't really think she understood the joke oh you know? like I when see she when saying. she signed yeah, on yeah, yeah. to make hallow shell i don't think she really got what she was making <laughs> yeah you know uh-huh. like uh-huh. i like <laughs> you mean shallow hell yeah you said hallow shell did i say oh, he did? i didn't even notice <laughs> I blame the yuck pile for that. You for sure, it's the film on your tongue yeah, that's getting in the way. I feel like yeah. it might be swelling, <laughs> and I don't know for what, but I apologize. Yeah, if this if this stops abruptly, you know that I'm at the hospital. <laughs> <Yeah>. Anaphylactic shock <laughs> from the yuck pie. Yeah, so I made uh, I made two things from mm. her book, and one of them was. Uh, and Amy, you can eat both of these. Oh my goodness! Oh, how nice! One of them is a uh, roasted cauliflower and chickpeas with mustard and parsley. Oh, oh. yeah. Okay, huh. okay. Is, is that from the children's section? No, this okay. is this is an adult. Okay. Um, so let me get it out. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Let me move my Skywalker mix. <laughs> I just wanted to point out that where we took bites of the yuck pie is forming back. <laughs> you can't see the bite. Yeah, if you leave it alone for long enough, it'll look fresh it's for the really barbecue. Gross. Tonight. Yeah. yeah. Oh my. Yeah. It's a it's a pungent smell. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Cauliflowers uh-huh. and chickpeas. When um um. Thank you. Michael yeah. tried it and he he said this seems like it would be farty. <laughs> Well, yeah, cauliflower mm-hmm. and chickpeas. I'm use my... And what else is in here? Oh, I'm going to get to uh, Mustard and parsley. I actually like that. Yeah. I didn't think I'd like the mustard. Mm-mm. I don't really like mustard, and it still tasted good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You could legit bring that to the party. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's actually... Okay, I'm sorry. My hand got sticky from putting the pie away. <laughs> <laughs> wash it off with bleach. <laughs> <You> <laughs> Yeah, I think that that's is actually really good. good. Yeah, right. I'm gonna give the credit to you and not going to Paltrow. Yeah, fair. yeah, that's what I expected. Okay, good. Mm-hmm. So then the other thing I made was, and this was something I had to. It was actually two recipes because you had to make one of the ingredients in a different recipe. Oh no! And it was kudos uh, to you for sticking that through. Black bean and guacamole tacos. Now this is from the children's section. I don't think as a child I would uh-uh. if someone was like, here's a black bean and guacamole nope. taco, I'd be like, first of all, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Why the green? Exactly. The green would have put me off. Yeah. The beans. The beans. Yeah. I never had right. black beans. And there's beans. onions in the, uh, in the guacamole. Oh, my so God. Frankly, like... sometimes just a taco puts Mason off. I'd be like, I'll just have a cheese quesadilla. Thank you very much. Maybe if you're apple paltrow or whatever your name is. Oh, God, I forgot Ooh, name another Ooh, another thing. No apples in this book. What? There's no recipes for apples, which I feel like she really missed an opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like Heath really outdid us here. He this, did. He this did. This looked better earlier. See, we'll just mix well, in the just, joke. Yeah, that's guacamole. Yeah. That's yeah. how guacamole. Yeah, yeah. I feel like already first dish was phenomenal. So yeah, it's good. Oh, it is. Fuck, I like this cookbook. That's what I said when I was tasting these yesterday. It was like that scene in Bridesmaids where Kristen Wiig's showing up to the bridal God shower and they it. give her that drink. Lemonade like, is so good. God damn, that's fresh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was so pissed that I liked it. 
I know. Okay, I need to know time. How long did the call yeah, take call. you? Um, most of that was uh, roasting it, which was like 45 minutes. But otherwise, um, that was the, the cauliflower and the chickpeas. Roasting was 45 minutes. I mean, other than that, mostly it was just cutting up the cauliflower. I was going to say, there's some yeah. nice skills there. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then, they, I mean, it took me 10 minutes to make the guacamole this morning and uh, the beans. But yeah, I was mostly just letting it simmer. Do they, is the recipe calling for the cauliflower dish to be hot or to be cold? Or either one. I mean, she it tastes great cold. You can serve it hot or at room temperature. At room temperature. Okay. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Uh-huh. And uh, it's kind of a letdown that the Paso came through. <laughs> it is. It is. I'm glad we didn't go with you first. <laughs> this just cut through the film in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's making my... Yeah, pie look even worse. <laughs> That's possible. Making my stupid Skywalker sticks. That's what you rename the recipe: stupid Skywalker stupid sticks. Skywalker sticks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay, so didn't change your opinion about Gwyneth Paltrow, no. but it was good recipes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And most of it, I like because again, her her health scare because her arm hurt or something, <laughs> whatever that was. <laughs> This was all for like sort of a like a detoxing sort of reset type thing. So you know that's what she's explaining all of this as, uh, as, and you know and again I you know she kind of you know was dismissive about cereal for breakfast and she kind of made a comment about like you know feeding your kids carb heavy pancakes and I'm like again I don't have children but I feel like if you can get up and get your pancakes ready yeah. for the kids like on a Wednesday morning like you're doing a good job doing like, a <laughs> hell of a job. Mm-hmm. That's a lot to ask. Yeah. Does she have other cookbooks? I think she does. I think this was the first one. I think she's done two or three more. Okay, wow. that's what I thought. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, like Sarah Michelle Gellar, it's also full of pictures of she's posing in a lot of these photos. And, uh-huh. you know, like in a, at a you know a rustic farmers market type thing, and you know she's got a she's got a basket and she's wearing a galoshes, sundress right? in it. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. I feel like with her, but also maybe with. Maybe a little bit with Sarah Michelle Gellar, probably not Kate Goslin. This is not too far for her, but like it, it's starting. It's with this like celebrity wellness kind of thing. Like yeah. everybody's jumping on this like, you know, moon juice, celery juice, like all of these things mm-hmm. that are supposed to mm-hmm. detoxify you and like make you better and whatever. Mm-hmm. And it feels like a lot of people that have no idea what they're talking about. Yeah, mine's but- more like a church basement. <laughs> casserole type situation. Yep. 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 Yeah. Uh-huh. Like you would find this like a family cookbook and you'd be like oh i remember when grandma made yuck pie but no one wants to buy a cookbook no. with yuck pie in it yeah, that's more like a god do you remember when grandma made yuck pie and then we sent her to the home because yeah. <laughs> we knew she, she, said she it lost milk and there's no milk <laughs> she also mentioned that her dad made that recipe one time after like a holiday and he just had a bunch of stuff and said let's make a pie was he oh was no he i was like where's the bourbon that's supposed to be yeah, yeah. I do think uh, if Gwyneth Paltrow really wants people to sort of eat healthier, that kind of thing, like if she like dialed down the sort of Gwynethness of it yeah. all <laughs> by uh-huh. about seven notches, this would all seem a lot more accessible to people. For sure. Yeah. I think it's probably tied up too with Goop, knowing that so probably. much stuff is expensive and kind of weird mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. And so you kind of know what to expect when you're going in here. Yeah. You have a lot of dispense, dis, uh, d- d- disposable. Good Lord, I couldn't think of the word. Mm-hmm. Disposable income. Right. And time. And time. Because uh-huh. mm-hmm. that would be infuriating to get to a recipe and be like, oh, wait, I have to. Oh. All right. So I'm days from being able to start this <laughs> recipe. <laughs> Not minutes. Days. But it's good. Wow. Mm-hmm. That is good. That is good. I would eat I mean, all of that again. And this, like, if you, if we're thinking about cooking as, like, an activity that sometimes you like to do on, like, a Sunday when you have plenty of time, then mm-hmm. these are, like, feasible Mm-hmm. But if you're, you know, it's six o'clock on a Tuesday night, mm-hmm. that's not going to work. I will say, and I don't know if this just means I'm a pig or what, but the amount of work that went into this and the amount of like this, the volume of food that came out of it yeah. didn't seem like there didn't seem to be a big match. But as well, I mentioned earlier, I like to make like enough chili for like a week. Right. <laughs> if I'm going to do it, I want to, you know. But, but also, fair, yeah. Gwyneth Paltrow is the size of a toothpick, so sure. she eats very little. Right. Do you think she actually eats this? I think she chews it up and then spits it out. <laughs> Just to get the flavor that she has. For like sure. A, yeah. She has some lime water. 
cleanser palette. <laughs> Fruit on a stick, maybe. Yeah. After that, Fruit yeah. on a stick is not a recipe. It's uh, already uh, Sarah Michelle Geller says it is. Put the fruit on a stick. There you go. She says at one point skewers make everything fun. <laughs> Okay, she, is that, Buffy, she is Buffy the Vampire. She is Slayer. Buffy the Vampire. Slayer. <laughs> also, that's someone who's not frequently worked with skewers because we use them sometimes, like in the summer, you know, grilling, and you invariably always get that random pokey uh-huh. part that you're like trying to avoid with your finger. Mm. No, skewers don't make everything fun. Right. And also, if you got kids around, that's yeah. not a good idea. No, I just think of the esophagus punctures. Yeah. <laughs> One of her recipes, by the way, was bagels and cream cheese. And it was just <laughs> it was just a, a bagel bar, which is bagels and then different cream cheeses. That's Panera. Yeah. That's, that's not a recipe. Mm-hmm. What was yeah. that sold as? Like, that's a fun thing to do on a Saturday or yeah. what? Yeah. I've never had more fun than going to a Panera on a Saturday. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I like it from a celebrity, too, because it makes me think, oh, like, it's fun because we never eat carbs. We're having bagels. That's probably what it is. Yeah. It's like, oh, this is such a, you know, treat. To have a bagel with different cream. <laughs> you don't have to commit to one. Different ones. Huh. And But they're not full bagels. They were mini bagels, too. Because oh, you can't have yeah. too many carbs. No, right. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. All right. Really, you shouldn't be eating. I was going to ask which one of these we think is the best, but I think that's pretty dumb. I think it's pretty clear. <laughs> yeah. Heath. Well done, my friends. Yeah, you knocked it out of the park. There's no stopping me and Gwyneth together. <laughs> <laughs> the, the cauliflower thing is really good. It though. is good. Yeah. I mean, in terms of like, I definitely don't want to cook anything out of Kate Goslin's book. No one does. I don't want to cook anything out of Sarah Michelle Gellar's book. I don't Shelley think Kate Goslin wanted to cook anything out of her book. <laughs> no, that's what it feels like. The whole time you're reading, it's like, this is what I do on Thursdays. You mm-hmm. slap some beef broth, you put some egg noodles, and you call it beef noodles. <laughs> Wow. That's what it feels like. Oh, God. Yeah. Do you think, Keith, that you will cook any more from this cookbook? Yeah. Um, not today. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. <Today>. Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, it's a busy day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You got a lot yeah. going on. Yeah. Uh, perhaps. I will okay. probably look through it more. But I will, again, say I will eat it and it will taste good and I will be unhappy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, Gwyneth. Yeah. Paltrow. Yeah. I guess after all that work, it's good that it is good, but... Yeah. And good to wash out the film from your mouth. <laughs> from the yuck pie. From the yuck pie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not sure why I thought choosing yuck pie was going to end in a good result, but that's where we're at. I mean, we all made what, sacrifices Where did the yuck pie, pie go? Did it leave the room? <laughs> <laughs> did it get mad about the did way we were speaking of it? Did it just out? leave? <laughs> did it sprout oh, legs? <laughs> oh, God. Oh. It's changing color. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so oh, bad. So I bad. want to point out that I really tried. I made the fork in mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. It's bad. It's guys. real it's bad. Really, see how it's moving back in? Oh, oh god. I think it's smiling at us. <laughs> SNL sketch when he makes like oh, the, the one person fail. yeah <laughs> he makes like the creature from hell this is the creature from hell <laughs> this is me in the bake off oh. <laughs> things went real wrong I'm the amateur they baker took a turn. Here. I'm the home baker well kids we did it we took a look at celebrities we reinvented the celebrity cookbook show, we though. sure did <laughs> we did <laughs> and if we do it again we can always do coolio Oh. We do Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We do so many other celebrities. Mm-hmm. We can do another Gwyneth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Could see what how she's progressed. Maybe oh, she yeah. gets less awful. Mm, I feel like that seems unlikely. Probably goes up, <laughs> right? Probably goes up more with each. Yes. As Goop book. has made more and more money. Yeah. What if Mariah Carey was ever to make a cookbook? Oh. What would she be? What do you think would be in there? Um, I know on a Christmas she makes linguine with clam sauce homemade. Oh my. That's something she does every year. So, wow. So that's kind of, I think, one of the many, many things that her and I have in common. Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, we yeah. Not uh-huh. people who cook regularly, but when we do, there's, it's a, a, thing. there's a few things that we know how to do well. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. I like that. Mm-hmm. Is Mariah Carey still your favorite human in the world? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to qualify that, but everyone knows. No. No. Yeah. yeah. I think Michael knows his place yeah. in the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mariah Carey, we're waiting for your cookbook. Mm-hmm. I think she's too far. Like, she's just, 
I don't she doesn't know that need it's it. ever gonna yeah. come down enough for her to do a cookbook, right? Yeah. I just think people, yeah. That's a good point. For both yours and mine, it feels like they're on the downward slide. Mm-hmm. Gwyneth, it feels like it's part of her brand that's going up yes, in this other direction. That is a good point. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I think, yeah, this is part of the foundation for goop. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's probably a cult, right? Definitely. Yeah. For sure. It's a wellness cult. Yeah. Also, it... changing your whole diet because your arm hurts. What day does right. my arm not hurt? I never yeah. thought, oh, you know what I should do? Roast cauliflower and chickpeas <laughs> together uh-huh. and see if right. that helps. I know. I mean, she's, I mean, this is probably the start of like the Handmaid's Tale, right? Like yeah. <laughs> goop. <laughs> goop is the Gilead, our Gilead. <laughs> So yes. Enjoy, enjoy it while you can, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Well, Aaron, we'll be back next week. We will. Without Heath, unfortunately. I know. Yeah. But we'll find it's another sad. way to bring Heath back yeah, on. Yeah, we will. We will. Another There's cookbook so much theme. Celebrity. So much celebrity things. So many things that are ripe with celebrity stuff. Yes. Mm-hmm. And until then, happy reading. <laughs> <laughs>